papino, papino. <risa> When, when your wife tells you you're a cozy black, black. why don't you want to call her for what? I don't know for what jail you in, why you calling me for? You don't know, you were not in jail long enough to know, like you said, I'm, I'm jealous, jealous, jealous of a jail reputation, right? That's your word, yo, you jealous of a jail reputation. So I like doing all that time again, there was nobody else on the call? It's probably either. But, but, you're going to sit there and with 30 minutes of what you just said. Your way was popping. Out of 30 minutes, this is what I'm going to just told you. I'm just with a general reputation. General reputation. Am I right? Is that a general reputation? Yo, bro, you, yo, bro, quit while you were ahead, my nigga. You making a whole four-hour video about me, bro. Repeating the same shit over and over, bro. Like, where we going with this shit? It's either you gonna hit me up in the DMs and you gonna come out here to New York and I'll put the money up for you to come out here, bro. And we can get it on, my nigga. I'm not gonna go back and forth with you, bro. This is the last video I'm gonna make about you, bro. I'm not making no more vlogs about you. I'm gonna get back to making real content because you're not real content. This is what I said. He's calling, he's this, he's that, he's moving his hands, he's doing push ups, he's doing all this shit, he's doing all that. Good. I'm gonna do this and do that. Ask your man in a video about if you were so solid up north and so official, why, why, why did your wife numerous times tell you to call Z Black? Why don't you call Z Black? He ain't, yo, bro, he ain't talking about me, bro. He not talking about me. I don't know who the fuck he talking about. He not talking about me. So now we have this conversation. Does the reputation add up to dollars? Because it doesn't add up to dollars when your, your, your living wife tells you cause he black and white. So why am I arguing with dudes that's all bad? You can't pick and choose the words in our argument. And that's what I mean. We're, you wanna, if we're gonna say to people, listen what Jess said. Listen what was Jess said. Yo, wait for Yo, you have a jam with- Look at this faggot ass nigga. This, this, um, this skin king nigga. He dick ride in fucking China, bring me live. I'm gonna get on that nigga ass too. I just want to finish up with this fucking Pafino nigga, man. He look like a nigga that nigga used to fucking be selling in dimes and twenties, dimes and twenties and, and eight balls, man. Krills, man. He look like a cussy, bro. I don't even know why you talking, bro. You just need to go on your way, bro. Try to put some teeth in your mouth and live your life happily ever after, bro. Talking about these A-Raps and that shit. Boy, you ain't... You don't want no smoke with me, bro. I'll knock the rest of your teeth out your mouth. That's the difference between me and a lot of these other niggas. You want to hit me up in the DM, I'll link up with you, and we can get it on for five minutes and may the best man win, bro. But since I know you're not going to do that, I'm going to stay on the internet and I'm going to keep clowning you. That's what it is. You held jail, man. You an official dude. See, you official because you wasn't in the know something, man. So, you know, nobody knows who can call. Except that. Or your other man that can say, I love my church, do some other shit. Nobody knows, there's nobody else in the planet in the world that you can call. Then, deep, though. Nigga fish your t-shirt, dog. Like I said yesterday, two different languages. Two your votes was power. Two different languages. And this is that this is just me and being on me, me being alive and be Nobody's black. You wanna jump in here and talk some shit? Talk talk some shit. But it has to make sense. You're not being with the retarded, I don't care about nothing. You can't be the victim. This is business. I go to work every day. Fuck.
Bro, you lying, bro. What job do you got, man? The captain, bro. You, ain't, you don't work, bro. I, I doubt you work at my nigga. You look like you received some type of fucking SSD or some shit, bro. I doubt you work at bro. Cap. When the watch time, I was up. You think I never woke up in this shit that go on and walk? I gotta deal with it. I gotta figure this shit out. What do you think I sit there and go, yo, because I was well in, in 88, you wasn't outside? Come on, bro. We played the wrong one, man. So now, so now we have this conversation. So that, so that reputation shit means nothing. It means nothing. It doesn't equal it to dollars. My tax dollars is going towards you. My taxes, my taxes, they go towards you. Do this old ass senior citizen nigga talking out his ass. He don't have no proof on the shit he's saying. He can't prove that I'm on SSI. We're going based off of what I done told y'all in the past about me, bro. I don't even know about me, bro. It's getting SSI. It's getting Medicaid. Things I never got in my life. I never got help from the government. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about Jose Marquez and Perez said to me. Zeke, you know what I'm say about you, Zeke? You come home, bro. You don't come begging us for shit, bro. You don't come home asking us for nothing. Because I got a problem with coming shit like that. I figured this shit out of my own, bro. So understand what's real and what's fake out here. I'm not throwing slaps. I'm being real. I'm not arguing with workers no more. my man said, I'm not arguing with you. You work for me. He don't work for you, bro. You look like a bum. Shut up. You like a straight bum. And since you want to be a stupid motherfucker, I'm going to run up the watch time at your expense. I don't know all this time to pack, CZ. What's wrong with you, bro? Hell yeah. We under all the whack, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shit, because I, I saw. Every nigga that I saw this bitch nigga platform is either a tranny, the tranny, bro. Or well, the niggas never been outside in their life. And the reason why I'm touching on this for because now we're not arguing no more. We're moving on in life. Shout out to What You Jacking Podcast. We're not, we're not doing this. We're not. What You Jacking Podcast can eat my dick. He could suck my dick too. And he could drop an Addy and I'll get up with him and break his face. What You Jacking is irrelevant. He has no content. Let's see what What You Jacking. Let me see something. What you jacking? No, he not even in the algorithm. Bob ass nigga. What you jacking? Eat my dick, nigga. You want to fight me, nigga? Get in my DMs and we'll link, we'll link up. I have a safe location. Don't bring nobody with you because if you do, it's not going to work. Come by yourself and let me break your face. I'm not letting a nigga who kicks rid of him, uh, somebody who gets SSI checks for his mental health, say he was willing or fit. He can't even think straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Can't even think straight. Uh oh.
Go about it, man. You know what I'm saying? Came to think straight, bro. We gotta have this conversation, man. Look at that fool from Empire. He put together the ultimate scam with the ball. He gets caught up. Now I see some shit about him messing with Don. Hold on. Don't play that music in the back, bro. How you doing, bro? What's problem? What's problem? Niggas are all lame niggas. Y'all niggas got all lame niggas. All these lame niggas is jacking them. Y'all, that's the difference between me and you, old nigga. I don't give a fuck who jacked me, nigga. But I'ma still come on here and talk my shit. And expose old niggas like you that should be off the fucking internet. You already know, man. Oh, baby, we pop. Oh, we saw it. We pop it. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy because this is no disrespect to nobody who's been on Twitter. This nigga want company. That's the thing with this bozo. He want company, bro. He need niggas to help us out, help him out. You see me? I get on. I'm talking about by myself, bro. I'm not online. Niggas on line with a whole chat. Bozo, man. Other shit, but some of these dudes, they don't get to be real the way we we can't, we can't, we can't at some point stop letting, even if it's a compliment, but you are both, but but you're a charter. We cannot allow we charge to say what's real and what's fake out here. Well, you know? Yeah, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got there and started out to salute you and wish you the holiday yeah. and blessings to you and your family and everything, yeah. but holiday issue is funny you was touching on certain shit because it's, it's a lot of people don't understand that basis. Like, see, you blessed to be, I'm going to say, because you grew up in a real culture neighborhood. You was in the east side, you brought the barriers that a lot of niggas from the west side sometimes, especially the 70s, they didn't, meaning like, Pafino grew up on the fucking east side, but it wasn't like Brooklyn. It wasn't like Brooklyn. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. You know how to get money. You was accepted by other coaches because we already was raised with that. So everyone in prison at the time, a lot of people don't know this. When they hear about the big homies and all that, a lot of the niggas went to prison young and for violence. Yes. They wasn't getting money. They wasn't really doing nothing like that in the town. So it's easy when, like you said, niggas be having names and reputations because they have nothing to lose and they be in there with nothing to lose for an arm. Niggas like Bazak, niggas like Zeke, me, even though we homie, we was up there, we did what we had to do when I don't know what the point, but the point is we were trying to come home. We were trying to get in battle. Bro, we don't believe you, bro. Shut out. You dick riding. You don't have a platform. You just dick riding, bro. You wasn't up top. You wasn't nowhere. This nigga Zeke Black is an irrelevant nigga. So he surrounds himself around nobodies. These niggas that he's speaking to they ain't nobody. They ain't nobody. Hell yeah, yeah excellent. See, I'll take it out of here, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be driving accurate, uh, terrors, and you know what I mean? He's going back like, 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 we are used to that in our neighborhood. If you ain't get money, you was an East Hall nigga, you was a dog. Exactly, you was a dog. I thought we had to be not doing the 40 rolls of flowers shit no more. It's the 28 floors. I was dropping over here in the 80s. I mean, in our neighborhood, there was literally thousands of dollars on the block every day all morning all night 24 hours and if you was willing to do it <laughs> you can get it you can get it man and, and it's dope it's, it's real way because sometimes people take it as disrespect and you know 
I speak to I speak to a lot of my people. I speak to even my wife. And my wife, she was outside of St. Louis in the eighties. You know what I'm saying? The late eighties and all that, right? So, and this is then I said. At some point, at some point, right, Beyonce has to say, let's stop living off of our jail webs and create new reputations in the street that matter. You hear me? You don't matter, bro. See, no, let's create new reputations in the streets that matter. Nah, bro. Nah, man. You trying to erase the legacies of the new drive. And at the forefront of this shit, bro. You trying to erase history, bro. You can't. You trying to push the narrative like you were some type of hustler street nigga that was getting money in Harlem. And you feel like the niggas that was getting money in the street should be idolized more than niggas that was in the penitentiary. Like, nah, you can't say that. You a bozo. That's why I would never respect a nigga like you. That's why when I see you, you better hope to God I don't see you on. God, I see your old ass. I'm a fire on you, bro. You better hope I don't never see you. I'm gonna take it personal now. Because you made a four hour video about me saying I feel you gotta be wasting my time. I could have been doing something else. Exactly. Because what's happening is, stop believing that your jail rep mean nothing when it doesn't add up with the same quali quali quality in the streets. But what I mean by that, man? Nigga don't look like you're getting no money, bro. You don't see in his pictures him got bonus in his ears. None of that. Stacks of money, none of that. Hammers, none of that. Let's say me and you was in the same dorm with the pink slips and everything, right? No disrespect. There was no blood extorting us. You know what I'm saying? There was no blood, yo, other than that. That wasn't going on in that dorm. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? That wasn't going on, dude. Not only that, yo, let them know, crap, and this is before they was getting played like that, meaning the low. We was actually the following. They was mad crips in that dorm. Mad crips in that John Jane. I mean, this wasn't moving up. It wasn't a banging spot, but like, they were there, and they niggas wasn't doing nothing to nothing. Exactly. They definitely wasn't. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's weird because when... Watch this weird ass nigga. He saw Corey King, KK OGs was starting to make a channel, and then he came out of nowhere. Niggas washed up. I'm telling you, if I ever see this old nigga ever in anywhere in NYC, bro, I'm going to beat the brakes off of him, bro. Him or Scheme Team since 2000, I see any one of them two niggas, bro. I guarantee you, I beat the brakes off of one of them two niggas. Facts. When the playing field is even, am I right? Bad at them niggas, what? It was on incidents with homie on homie shit that. Then them niggas, am I? Oh, that was crazy. That was crazy. But see, you don't hear those stories. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of niggas in there. Niggas from Brooklyn, up to everywhere. Everywhere, niggas, huh? there. niggas from everywhere. Niggas from from the from Atlantic, from everywhere. Man, everywhere. Home, but niggas was not. It was not like kind of action. So that's why I say when it boils down, to, because because. The whole goal when you go to jail, you don't got a little bit of time. You don't want to stay any longer than you have to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, if you, now if you like freedom and you like, like I said, you like things in life to be able to be successful. It's the only good thing to do. The difference between me and this nigga, he's still trying to prove to y'all that he's somebody. When the shit has already been solidified, you don't have to, it's nothing to explain, beloved. This history has already been signed and sealed. You trying to recreate history, bro. This can't happen.
Dudes that we see was the dudes that want to get no left. The no male young niggas, the little niggas that's gonna get no male, those were the dirty bloods in the yard, so the dirty little niggas. Like, I always see career, so like, I never like getting involved in the only shit. And it fucked up to say. The niggas are swagger jacker. Y'all all know that Hassan, Hassan Campbell talks like that. The dirty section it is, the dirty sex in the name. Occasionally, throughout the video, you're going to hear this washed up senior citizen nigga talk about it. He's going to keep, he going to be repeating it. Yes, but you know what I'm saying? Because especially when you're the big bro, like, you know, you're a crush, you're like, a lot of people don't know, like, you really know that man. And this is why I look bad, because regardless of the back and forth, yeah, he, he was still throwing also to select you to be a representative of what he was doing. Yeah. So that's why I thought it always makes shit look like spooky. There's no need for it because at one point we was good. We represented yes. the same thing and yes. we and we and we rock together. So regardless of our right, we work it out. We ain't gotta do it all this shit like that. Cause like you said, it ain't about the reputation no more. Cause you out here doing positive things and working and taking care of shit. He's trying to do the same. Niggas can Let's do it. doing the same thing. Exactly. It, 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 it's yeah. not, it's not, Hurry up, Dick Rider. Hurry up, man. You, you, you sucking that nigga off. Nigga, come how that nigga come taste, bro? You sucking that nigga shit crazy, bro. Hey, hurry up and get the fuck up off his shit. Man. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm happy you touched on this, right? And that being said, right? This issue, this issue, is because for some reason it's him. Even in the first time, remember the first video that he went out apologizing for. You know, I apologized for my reaction the first time, but then he does again for no reason at all. Don't put me with your beef that you have already with these individuals. You hear me? Yeah, that's what it is. You're, you're putting me. You're putting me in. Like you said, it's the old cell block. Like I can't associate, or I might not be able. You try to play victim. Always stir and mix up beef. You try to find out information and then link it onto your YouTube page to do the clout. You doing all this shit for views, old nigga. That's why I'm on your fucking hills. Cause you doing this shit for the views. You know you're not like that. You know you're not outside. You know you're not in the five boroughs where niggas can really be like, yo, drop Addy, let me get with you. you can't, niggas can't do none of that to you, bro. But you running your mouth. You're a weak old man. If I hit you, I'm going to catch a felony and I'm going to be sitting on law for a few years for hurting you, for fucking you up. I catch a soul charge, then what? That take time away from my kids, my wife, every fucking body. All because you, I got to prove I got to fuck you up. Come on, bro. A nigga like you will trick a nigga like me out my freedom and I'm not going to allow that because I know you. Have... Come on, bro. Been arguing with Mel Cross on the internet for a year. You ain't drop Addy yet. You ain't pop out and come nowhere. You been stuck. In, you ran. You ran. You shacking up with that bitch in St. Louis. You in her crib. You know we know you don't got a pot to piss in. You know you an ex felon, man. You got a criminal record. You don't have. You have lack of an education, and you a dumb nigga hoping that YouTube is gonna work for you, and it's not. Hoping that you get Dick Ride or Son Campbell. Whatever blood information news that come out, you hoping that you, you get lit off of that, and this shit ain't gonna work for you. That 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 choo choo train that you riding, that disco train, you hoping that it's not gonna work for you. Cause he did bad, he went out bad, niggas violated him and exposed him, and he trying to come back. Y'all niggas, y'all fucking old senior citizen niggas trying to bring him back, and it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. It is what it is. Like I said, niggas don't like what I say. They can suck my dick. It is what it is. It's not realistic. We affiliate with a lot of the same people. And that's that. And that's and that's and that's where it gets wicked at. Because I'm gonna keep making videos about you, so every time you got my name in your mouth, I'm gonna keep making videos about you. But he goes back to the first time. I didn't start that beef with him. 
He did with me. I didn't know where. To, I'm in St. Louis. I've been in St. Louis. You create this way. You wear. Yeah, you've been in St. Louis. Holland, nigga. Holland. Laying low. You want to talk all this gang shit. But you're not in the city where you speaking on. That's the thing. And then you don't understand why niggas got issues with you. I'm not the only nigga. I could see if I was the only nigga that had an issue with them, man. Yeah, like, I could be like, yo, call up, why you picking on this thing and shit, 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 but come on. He asking for attention, so I'm going to give it to him, bro. He's stirring, he mixing up beef. Nobody's G-checking him, so I'm going to be the one to G-check him. You think it's way down, too. Now, all of a sudden, because I come back at you, yo, Zeke, let's fight the standard third. Now, I never liked the dough shit out about niggas. Like, I knew about because of shit. I knew about that because I don't mean to me. My, my, I, I, because that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to come at you. This bitch nigga did a whole four-hour live about me explaining it, so. What, what type of real stand-up nigga that, that do shit like that? You explaining yourself. For four hours to a, to a nigga that you got mad years over. Bro, nigga at least got like yo, 20 years on me, bro. You got like 20 years on me, man. And he's talking crazy to me. Do y'all have mature years? You know what I'm saying? And I, and, I, and I tried to be nice about it, but when it's more clear, you keep putting me in your nonsense. My uncles, I got uncles this nigga age. And I'm saying, hey, man, this gang shit don't interest them. This fucking meat mock, meat, meat man, or what? He seemed to be fascinated by the game, by the armies. By big names. He's starstruck. You can tell, man, when he get around a big fool. You don't know how to act, man. The goopiness come out of it, man. Don't put me in your nonsense. Don't, don't, don't put me in your nonsense. Me and you have numerous conversations. Remember one day you said, yo, Zeke, leave that nigga alone. The niggas is too yo, old. You know what I'm About her, like I said, because we from New York, and that's not a, 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 a thing over here. You know, we, yeah, to us, that's, you know, we don't rock with that. But in the South, that's common. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. So, you know, so when I hear the brothers trying to be like, I'll be like, hold on, man. Shit, y'all being biased now, because that happens a lot in the South. Let's keep it real. Yeah. Because he first me, bro. Not to be in all the business, because I don't know people's relationships. I don't know what, what you know, thing is. But, you know, over here in the East, you know, New York, like, you know, that's not what I did. You know, I'm in mean, practice over here. Like, we don't do that. We're we not supposed to. And that's, and, and, and that's that jail block shit. That's that. I, it's, 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 it's weird because I have 1,500 miles away. You're weird. 1,500 miles away. You just said it, bitch. Why the fuck you keep speaking on NY politics? Speak on the shit that's going on in St. Louis, or shut the fuck up, bitch. So, 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 so what? That, so what? This, the, I that's that. I, it's, 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 it's weird because I am fifteen hundred miles away. So, 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 so. You hear this shit? This thing is a walking contradiction. So you said you fifteen hundred miles away. You saying that niggas is weird, but I find it weird that you speaking on gang shit. That's in the city where I live in. Where I live at, people in the neighborhood got to duck bullets every fucking night. And it's not safe. But there you got a nigga like you that was able to escape out because you got lucky and crept up with a bitch that you met on the dating website, on your fish. And you got up out the hood and you, and you still want to fucking mix yourself up and shit and mix it up just for view. That's what you're doing, bro. And all I'm telling you is, you're going to get yourself hurt. You're going to put yourself in a situation where you ain't going to be able to get yourself out of, bro, because you're not physically fit. And I don't think you could withstand a, a, a punch, man, like a, like a haymaker or 
You know what I'm saying? A body blow to you will be devastating, bro. So what, that, so what this, the, the special needs community is saying to me, I be minding my business. Am I right? Yes, sir. And a guy wakes up in the morning and just... See, you need the, he need niggas to vouch for him. I don't need niggas to vouch for him. He need, he need to state his case. Look at him. Look at him. You know Gibson. No, I don't know. What's the other nigga, man? I'm gonna think about him. A funny guy, man. I can't believe I'm not even really going back and forth with this old nigga, bro. Like, but. As long as she keep making videos about me, I'm gonna be here eating. I don't give a fuck. And y'all gonna watch me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna watch me. I'm sitting on this thing. Time to talk about feet black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah? And put me in some crazy wild scenario that I have nothing to do with. I have a job. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a supervisor. You a supervisor looking like that. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You a supervisor, but you dressed in good wear, good wear attire, good wear clothes attire. Broke man shit. Fuck out of here. Well, I was gonna say, I didn't pay attention to who it was. Oh, look, he said, see back crazy with Fuck All these niggas that come on his page, bro, I'm telling you, man, these niggas is day room niggas, bro. These niggas is day room niggas that never had a legacy and they salty, bro. That's all he surrounds himself around, niggas that's nobody's. There's a known tranny on the internet. And I'm not going to say the person's name, but if they respond, then they're guilty. They know who the fuck they are. There's a well-known tranny on the internet that everybody think is a fucking female, but it's really a man. And he shouts the fucking tranny out. We're not going to say no names. We'll just wait for that person to mention our name, then we'll shit on them. But um, other than that, you're a bozo, bro. You fuck with trannies and you fuck with niggas that snitch and that's and that's not real right. He was fucking with Freaky Ziki. Freaky Ziki was snitching to the police when he was in the bed when he got shot up. Cause some niggas on the hundred and forty first and Fallen shot him up, shot him in his ass and all that. And this video recording of this of the nigga that's from your projects. You said you from George Washington Projects on the low lady, on, 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 on the east side of Harlem. But Freaky Ziki is a known informant. And niggas like you, Jim Jones, a lot of niggas still co-sign him. So I don't I don't have faith. I lo I've been lost faith in a lot of you old head niggas, man, a long time ago, bro. Uh, YouTube is not meant for your era. You gotta understand something, bro. When you was in your 20s, and this is not even to be funny, but when you was in your 20s, they didn't have color TV. When you was in your 20s. That's how old this nigga is. This nigga is so fucking old that in his fucking prime, in his heyday, when he was in his 20s, they didn't have color, color television. I wasn't even known of it. Come on, bro, this thing is old, bro. So you, you do the math how old he is. If I just said in his 20s, color TV, color television didn't exist. You guess how old he is. Y'all let me know. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what you do, Yo, this thing, because, because what happens is they're watching the incident. So what happens? Why you think I'm eating? I'm eating and letting this shit play. I'm playing with you, bro. I'll take you serious, bro. 
You boring, bro. You don't really have nothing to talk about. You just, you upset and this is your defense mechanism. This is a way of you, you calling yourself trying to clap back at me. But I'm listening to you 30 minutes. I'm listening to you and your argument is weak. I'm not really saying that. I'm just here to run up the watch time. You fuck niggas want to be on live two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours. I don't do shit like that. Niggas that follow me, they know, bro. I do quick videos and cut. Only time I do long videos like this is when a faggot nigga like you, I got a G-chat. You a customer, bro. You a curl, you a crackhead. You need to go get your teeth fixed and don't worry about me. And then you watch the internet and you think this guy, yo, I'm gonna take a shot at him because I want to, I don't know what he's trying to do, but in the real world, let's cut it out. Our relationship is a real world. It's really easy, you know, let's cut it out. All this nigga got on his page is a bunch of dick rider niggas that gonna tell him what he wanna hear. If you not, if you go on, if you question him, he's gonna block you. He's gonna block you. That's the type of nigga he is. He's gonna block you. He's gonna report. Like, I ain't gonna front y'all. This nigga might block me for reacting to his content. But if he block me, I'm gonna make a vlog about it because I got other two channels too. So, if my main, pair, if my main page gets flagged or I have to be on strike, whatever, they, they pause me for two weeks, I'll be making content on my other two channels. Call out to reaction and call out to reactions too. Y'all go over there and run the numbers up. Make sure y'all subscribe over there. Because I'm going I'm to I'm stay on this old nigga neck, bro. Nigga dressed like Little Bill. I'm going to stay on Little he Bill's neck. Like, 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 I'm going to stay on Little Bill. <laughs> Yo, bro, you old. This is from his time, man. These are old niggas. The nigga that you on the phone with got no credibility, bro. None of these niggas you talking with got no credibility, bro, so I don't care what you talking about. You a bozo just like them. The days that I realized that we and niggas was really in the field. Really no niggas, really was there. Like, these are not just for me, this shit niggas was around, niggas live. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, because what happens is, what happens is, because, 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 me and you, I don't have to mention your name to win. I don't have to mention your name because you keep mentioning my name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Think about it. If no one mentioned my name, then do me and my conversation. Hey, your whole cloud was on for um, this and Mount Cross. You came on the internet, this and Mount Cross, man. What you talking about? I was just playing the fame, bro. Some, 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 some nigga that looked like, um, some nigga on the internet that looked like fucking Cuban Link. I think his name was Cali Kid or some shit like that. He was putting out some information and whatever. I, I, I don't know. I guess it was whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? He put out some information. And you ran with it like a fucking bitch. Not even doing your full background investigation. Just ran with it. Like a little bitch. Cause you was looking for clicks and views. You, you, come on, man. It's okay for a nigga like me to be on the internet. I'm still in my thirties, man. I'm still young. 35 is, is young, bro, compared to you. I was in my twenties. 10 years ago. So, that's not old. You are old, washed up, jealous motherfucker, and I'm gonna keep saying it. You're old, washed up, jealous man, bro. That never got the credit, never got the legacy. Niggas laughed at you. Couldn't sit out the round table with niggas. Niggas that got less subscribers than you, of course, they gonna dick ride you. 
me and you got about the same amount of subscribers. We still, we both in that 4,000 range. And I got more overall views than you. I'm saying on my shit. So it don't matter, bro. Your bozo. Surprised this shit even came back up. You've been telling me what you're doing. You know what? You know what? Because what happens is he's speaking to the internet. And when you're speaking to the internet, you know what I'm saying? And when, and then when you're speaking to the internet, you got dudes that don't know how that was in the building. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So now he sits around and team discussion he's teasing inside my chat right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, he was, oh, he was, oh, he was a clubhouse yesterday? Oh, he was a clubhouse yesterday? I don't know. You know, he was a clubhouse yesterday. You wee laugh. And I'm the one that pinks. Here, come on. Okay. So now, these niggas don't even know the journey he was on, bro. These niggas can't hit the beat, bro. The beat, bro. I always make my rap on these motherfuckers. Yeah, that's what Wifey said. No, I remember mean, Wifey that way, but when Wifey said, this is work for you. This is the believe Y'all all the about a nigga who actually works for you. You know what I'm saying, dude? Yo, D, you, you were there that actually goes to a whole different state, a whole different city, a whole different town, and get love from the neighbors, bro. That ain't something that everybody can do. Yeah. Yeah. You got that kind of personality. This nigga got pure dick suckers. Yes, man, on his shit. He don't got nobody questioning his uh, 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 credibility or nothing, bro. These got niggas beat you. That's what I don't like. Bro. That's the difference between. That's what sets me apart from, from all these other niggas, bro. And that's why they don't like me, bro. I'm not a dick rider. He's a dick rider. I got enough money on me right now. I could buy that whole nigga dusty outfit that he got on right now. That sweater that he got on, that's fucking 10, 10 to $20. And a bargain hunter discount store. That hat is a cheap, he got a cheap hat on. He got a cheap dad hat on. That, that button up shirt that he got underneath that Carlton sweater, that's a bad button up. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad button up. Like, that nigga's a bozo. Anybody that believe that nigga's a manager is a lame. That nigga ain't no fucking manager. He a dick sucker. He dick suck idols and he want to chase cloud and he, he looking to try to blow his page up. That shit not gonna work for him. You know what else about? Most, the most views, go on that bitch ass nigga channel and see the most views he got, 18K. The most views I got was 114K. Like, come on, bro, we not the same, my nigga. Get off my dick. Coming on this shit, acting like Harlem. Harlem wasn't holding weight like Brooklyn, man. What's up with these old niggas, right? I mean, a lot of y'all OGs that's from Brooklyn, where y'all niggas at? Y'all niggas supposed to be holding it down. All y'all old head niggas. Y'all letting this old, washed up, wrinkly face nigga 
rep his shit. I still don't need him while I'm shitting on you. Because I've always been the type of nigga to go against the green. When everybody else want to dick ride, I'll be like, nah, bro, fuck that. I go in a different direction. Niggas be mad at me, man. I don't give a fuck, though. G shit. So that nigga get some new teeth in his mouth, bro. So he come fuck with me, bro. I'm gonna knock the rest of them shits out he got in. Yeah, bro. This thing is such a meat rod. Bro, who, bro, bro, who is this boring nigga, bro? This nigga is a dick rider, bro. You don't know what I'm saying, bro. I don't know about Zeke, man. You know Zeke, man. Zeke, man, man. Niggas don't know. A lot of niggas don't know about Harlem. Niggas don't know about Eastside. Eastside, man. You know Zeke, man. Zeke, shut the fuck up. You know Zeke, black. Man, Zeke, black, man. You know Zeke, black. You annoying, bro. You know Zeke, man. You know Zeke, black, man. You know Zeke, black from East Harlem, man. You know Zeke, black. Big black niggas don't know about Zeke, black, by P. Fafino. Niggas don't know about Pafino. He used to sniff a whole eight ball Pafino. Nigga, that nigga dirty ass nails, bro. I got the shit. I got the um the video pause. Let's take a look at his nails, bro. Look like he take care of himself, man. No, bro. He chasing me for clout, man, because he know my channel doing better numbers than his shit. Bitch ass nigga. He got more subs than me, and I'm doing more. I'm doing better numbers than him. I think it's a goofy bro. And he going live every day on this clown. Yo, this nigga going live, bro. Like, he go live every day. You a clown, bro. I don't go for who. Don't like what I'm saying, bro. Like, suck my dick, bro. Straight up. Disrespectful, too. I'm one of very few YouTubers that could give out the Addy. And, know, and be confident that I know niggas ain't gonna play with me. How many niggas you know that that could walk around doing that comfortably? Scheme Fiend can't do that. You seen what happened when niggas ran up on him? He was off guard. Niggas could have put a laser right in him, right in his dome. Knocked him right off the steps, right off his sister's um stool. He was sitting right on his sister's stool. One Saturday afternoon, and a nigga rode right past his crib and filmed when he was standing outside on the stool, looking stupid. Nigga could have started flocking at him right there. Hey, yo, bro, these niggas ain't street niggas, bro. Why you think these niggas ain't in New York no more, man? If niggas was really gangsta and tough like that, niggas would have been out here in New York. Even if they don't have nowhere to go and no money, they would have they would have checked into a shelter. And then make it the best way they can. And, so, and, to, and figure out a way to get up on their feet. But these old niggas ain't doing that. They meeting these girls off for plenty of fish or whatever day and website they can. Cause Zeke Black can't. Bro, you could just look at the nigga, bro. He ain't a nigga that's bagging bitches out on the street, man. Like, getting their numbers and all that. He ain't doing that. He's some stink, smelly feet. Musty nigga, bro. That's living with me, man. Swing your baby mom's look. This nigga girl look like a wildebeest, bro. And nothing is off the table. You know what I'm saying? Because when you come for me, I come for your whole... I come for everybody you love, nigga. That's how I play. Don't be a bitch. Don't flag me. Don't do none of that, pussy. Because I'm going to expose you if you do. Saying I'm violating everybody. That bum ass bitch that you call your girl, the Bella bitch, she a bird. That bitch is mad fat. She got a kangaroo pouch for a belly. 
Alright, come on, bro. Bitch washed up. Right on wild. She another old. She a MILF. The fuck I'm beefing with a MILF for? You and your bitch is perfect for each other, bro. Because y'all both some bum-ass broke motherfucker. Your bitch is a country girl, so. You know what I'm saying? She, I'm pretty much sure she done fantasized about a Brooklyn nigga. One point in her life. <clears throat> I'm pretty much sure she did. I'm tired of fucking with your bozo ass. Zeke, Zeke, Zeke Black is a clown, bro. Telling you, I think it's a certified bozo. You heard? I'm telling you, man. He do shit and makes beef, thinking that that shit is gonna make his channel lit, but it's not. He just making that shit harder for himself. So when he do. When he do step out in traffic out here and niggas do happen to run into him, what are you going to do? What is this old senior citizen nigga going to do? Like, you nigga shit, he's a retiree, nigga, man. You should be retired, but you you know why you not retired? Because you didn't do nothing with your life. You, you did dumb shit. You hustled for niggas. You got caught up. Got locked up. For selling probably having smoking all that bro like you're a smoker bro you never do nothing with your life like that so all you got is that little fat that little fat bitch fat nasty body bitch that you got over there in, in st louis the bitch is ugly but that's a nigga like you you would think she's a dime but to let a nigga like you tell her she, she's a dime piece man because you never had nothing decent Never had a bad bitch before in your life. You a goofy, man. Yeah, bro. Listen to your bed. See your uh, listen to your bed. So uh, your bed is telling you like, yo, it's not worth the energy because you gonna end up getting knocked out if you run into this nigga. This nigga's way bigger than you, bro. He's younger than you. He's stronger than you. Like you can't really do nothing with him. So you might as well leave the nigga alone. But you, you're, you're an old head. You still trying to hold on to your youth, telling yourself you could do it, but you can't. Like, right? come on, bro. We know you ain't war ready. You ain't, man, listen, bro. You already know, bro. You want to bust a fucking grape, bro. But you very opinionated on everything that goes on as far as gang culture. They block the sub block. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't understand this shit. Like, 